Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So if you guys have watched the show at all, then you know that I hate big food. I truly care about everybody being clean, eating clean, using all natural products. I mean, you guys can just see from the sponsors of the show. I'm extremely passionate about cutting out processed chemicals and my food, my own diet, our products, everything. I hope that you guys are encouraged to do the same. And today, I hope you are encouraged even more. So recently, I saw a documentary that was released on X from an 18-year-old girl named Grace Price, where she breaks down how toxic the entire food industry is and how this has fostered cancer into our society in such a prevalent, absolutely insane way. And I mean, I was just so blown away by this absolutely intelligent woman who was taking such a brave and bold stance against an entire industry, multiple industries, and a society that has warped our perception of how cancer is created and treated. We're going to talk about it today. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. Now, before we get into this, I just think it's important that we acknowledge how timely this documentary is because I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I am seeing people get diagnosed with cancer right and left. You guys can drop some things in the comments. Let me know if that has been the experience in your life. But I mean, I was talking with my brother recently and he had five friends all in their early 30s, late 20s who were diagnosed with cancer. One of my best friends who is 26, she has had four, three or four girls from her sorority that have been diagnosed with very, very serious cancer, one of which is terminal. If you spend any time on social media or TikTok, oh my gosh, I'm like terrified of colon cancer now because colon cancer is the number one cancer killer for people under the age of 40, which is just ridiculous because they tell us that we shouldn't get colonoscopies until we're, I mean, just, it's like, it's everywhere. And people have been looking for a cure for decades now. And it seems like we're no closer to that goalpost. And most importantly, we're not discussing how we can prevent it. And obviously this is something that does need to be prevented. So last month, Grace released her documentary that she's been working on for two years since she was 16. And guys, I just cannot stress how important it is that you go and watch all of this. Again, her name is Grace Price. You can find her on Twitter. It is the first thing that is pinned on her profile. It's 20 minutes long. Go watch it. You can watch it now. You can watch it afterwards. It is just so important. It is informative. It is educational. I just think that everyone should be required to watch this in schools. That is how good this is for a myriad of reasons. Now, she originally posted it on X with this message. She said, this is a huge day for X. My documentary, Cancer, A Foodborne Illness, is finally here. It is only on this platform that I am able to release a film that challenges big food conglomerates and mainstream health claims without fear of censorship. And that is very true. Here's the story of how I, an 18-year-old girl, spent two years relentlessly searching for the true cause of cancer. Here is what I found. That is a baller post. That is an amazing introduction. I saw that. It came out about a month ago. I was hooked. And this documentary now has over 4 million views on X. It is still growing almost a month later. And one of the main things that she gets into in this documentary is how corrupt the entire institution of big food is. And this clip from the doc does a great job of breaking it down and gives you kind of a taste of what you can expect from this documentary. How is this even legal? Well, it all started back in the 1980s when the USDA and HHS created the first dietary guidelines for Americans. Refrigeration was all the rage. These national health organizations were being funded by the exact companies that were pushing for the use of industrial oils as cooking oils. Studies were funded by these companies to show that foods in their natural forms are more risky than the science experiment companies call food nowadays. 95% of the 2020 U.S. Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee had a conflict of interest with the big food and big pharma. That is an insane number. I mean, that conflict of interest is absolutely absurd. But I'm also not surprised because it's our government. This is what they do. They do insider trading. There's conflict of interests everywhere we turn. But this is involving our bodies, our health, prevention of illnesses, and they're still playing this game with us. This is how nutrition misinformation trickles down from the government to doctors and then to us. Despicable. I think that's the only word I can use. It is truly despicable. It is evil. And we have talked about this so much in the last few months. We can link some of those episodes below because I've loved, loved those pieces that we've done. But I truly cannot stress how important this is and how important everything that Grace is doing because your health is paramount. It is paramount to your freedom, to your ability to protect yourself, to protect your family, to be there for your family, to your mental well-being, literally everything. Like I genuinely cannot stress this enough. And that is why I take heart and soil every single day. Now, ever since I have become more cautious about the products that I use and the food that I eat, I've been reflecting on how delicate our bodies really are. We are susceptible to so much. We are like finely tuned machines with each part of our body playing a crucial role in keeping us ticking along, which is why it is so important to take care of every part of your body. And staying healthy and eating right can sound exhausting and overwhelming, which is why I'm so grateful 
for my organ supplements from Heart and Soil. Organs are the most nutrient-rich food on the planet. You can get 100 times more nutrients from organs than from muscle meat. Obviously, our ancestors were overall healthier and stronger than we are today, and what was their secret? They ate animals nose to tail, and Heart and Soil products can help you do that. Heart and Soil offers a wide range of supplements to help with gut, digestion, brain, sleep, weight loss, and more. They truly have something for everyone's unique health goals. Now, as you guys probably know, because I talk about it on the show constantly, I've really been working on trying to understand my female body, regulating my hormones, because again, it is a finely tuned machine. And so because of that, I started taking the fire starter and her package from Heart and Soil. Also, I think you guys might know about my knee injury. So I've added their joint supplement in the mix as well, because I certainly need that. My husband also tore his ACL and his MCL. So he is taking all of that because we are a mess. But Heart and Soil has our back. They're fixing us up. And I love that they are made from grass-fed, grass-finished, and regeneratively raised beef organs. Just try them out today and your health can thank me later. So go to heartandsoil.co and use code Cooper for 10% off your first order. Discount applies to one-time purchases. Again, guys, that is heartandsoil.co. Use code Cooper for 10% off your first order. I love these products. They are so amazing. You will love them. And it is so in line with what we're talking about today. This is just one way that you can take control of your health because every day we are being lied to and manipulated about all of it. All the people are getting sick and they are dying because we are told there's no way to prevent this. Oh, oh, it's just genetics. Oh, it just, it just happens to people. I don't really know why it's skyrocketing and so many young people are getting cancer. I have no idea. Now in the documentary, she breaks down how cancer in large part is attributed to the foods that we eat, the institutions in which processed chemicals and sugar in food have prospered, and how that is the root of just the entire problem. Yet as she shows in the documentary, people are still under the assumption that cancer is largely a genetic problem a problem that they cannot control or prevent. She even asked people on the street what they thought the leading cause of cancer was, and this is what they said. What would you say the number one cause of cancer is? Uh, that's an interesting question. Oh, I have no idea, honestly. I'd say genetics. Um, genetics. Is it an inherited from genes and stuff? So I would think that's the number one cause. Yes, I would say cancer is a genetic disease. Typically, if your parents have it, you're more inclined to have it. And I mean, that's true about families, but I think that it's more about the lifestyle that your parents have emulated and taught you versus genetics. Obviously, there are cases where cancer is genetically based, but that is not the primary problem here. And these responses are crazy, but also not shocking at all because we are completely uneducated and misled about all of this. And Grace's documentary is just doing incredible work to try to fix this. And the response has been so inspiring to see. Again, over 4 million views. People are so excited about it. This one woman said, Grace, you are a true visionary and your documentary empowered me tremendously. I am a single mom, age 41, obese and on a health journey to cut out the garbage in our typical American diet. I'm going to be showing this documentary to my children and make it a family effort to make healthier food choices. Thank you for making this documentary and sharing it on the X platform. I mean, it is seriously so amazing. And it's amazing that an 18 year old girl can have this impact. Remember that, we're gonna talk about it later. Another person said, where are you on Facebook? Every mom needs to watch this. I see moms with young kids who have metabolic issues and they blame it on their genes as they hand them a big bag of chips and a box of juice. I mean, everyone in general needs to watch this, but especially parents with the skyrocketing obesity rates that we're seeing in children right now, like this needs to be addressed. They cannot grow up not understanding their bodies and what they're putting into them and the consequences of our American diets. Like we physically cannot withstand to have another generation that is lied to in this way. And like we've talked about in depth at this point, a sad reality in our current society is how our food is you know, created and approved by institutions like the FDA, which receives money, as Grace was saying, from huge big food conglomerates. I mean, no wonder they say Cheerios are the best heart healthy choice and that eating too many eggs is dangerous when Kellogg's is writing them a check. Like, come on, it is right in front of our faces. I mean, it's all one big scheme, you guys probably understand this by now because I've talked about it so much. And she does a great job of breaking that down in her documentary, but she also showed us why this is so important and why we need to address it right now on a podcast episode that she did with Alex Clark on The Spillover. Just watch. So that's one thing. And then whenever we're, you know, in kindergarten, we're doing soccer practice, moms hand out Gatorade like it's no big deal. Capri Suns at every single birthday party. You wait in line on Fridays at a school lunch to get Bluebell ice cream. So that's a special thing they do on Fridays. Um, whenever you're in high school, it gets even worse because we know teens across America are suffering with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. We're pre-diabetic. One in five of us are obese and we are so stressed out of our minds. Mental health disorders have gone up like crazy. I mean, all of that is just horrifying. It is so, so sad. And the caption when she posted this clip was especially powerful. And she said, Gen Z's entire existence has been a wild experiment to see if ultra-processed fake foods can sustain the population from day one. How many more teens' lives will we lose because we feel there isn't enough evidence to change our minds? Coca-Cola, Kellogg's, General Mills, the truth has been unveiled and it's not pretty. Gen Z's time is running out with every bite and you know it. God, it's just so good. She literally pulls no punches in anything that she's doing. So again, 
I am urging you all to go watch this documentary, go to her page, go find it. It is required viewing before you can go watch another comment section episode. I'm like your mother right now. Go to your room and watch this. But this should be a fun thing because it's empowering. And this should empower you for two reasons. Number one, it should empower you with information about our bodies, our health, our food, and our medical systems so that you can take control of your life, which is objectively a good thing. And number two, this documentary and Grace herself as a person should empower all of you to be bold, especially young people. You should not be afraid to take a big swing just because you're young, just because you're 16 or 18 years old. You shouldn't wait to start pursuing what you're interested in until you have a college degree and you're in your 30s. Start now, you have the time. So take risks. This is literally the time in your life when you should be doing this. And do not let adults hold you back because they have a limited idea of what young people can accomplish because you truly are the future. Grace is the future, we are all the future. We should start working on that now. Well guys, I hope you liked that video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and on TikTok. See you guys next time. Bye.